Hello everyone, we will continue the topic how to send a Adobe form or PDF form as an email attachment and in the previous video we started with the create document step and as a part of that we gave the subject, we gave the body of the mail and we got the object of this class in the return. Now I will come on to this mandatory parameter I underscore type. If I will double click on the method, if I will go to I underscore type, if I will double click, you can see I underscore type optional is not ticked. It means I underscore type is a mandatory parameter. Now what we need to pass to this mandatory parameter? This parameter is for document classification. Means whatever the mail we are sending, currently we are sending Adobe form as an email. So whatever the document we are sending, what is the classification of that document? And yes, we need to always, always specify the classification. So how I can check that in our current scenario, which classification we need to use? You can double click on to the data element. Data element has a domain. In the domain, I will go to value range. In the value range, SAP provided this value table. I will go to the contents of the table. If I will go to F4 help, you can see we have so many document classification. If I have a, if I have a IDOC document, I will go for this particular document classification. If I have a script document, I will go for this particular document classification. If I have an internet document, yes, I will go for this document classification. Now in our current scenario, I will go for document classification raw because we have a SAP editor document. We have a SAP document which we are sending. So I will go for document classification raw and maximum time always 99% you will always always use this document classification raw itself. Now I will simply simply use this document classification means we are classifying the document. So what I will do, I will pass the document classification as raw, which is for SAP document. Now, now I gave the document classification, we gave the subject, we gave the body of the mail, and yes, we are getting the object of this particular class in return. I'll check the syntax. Okay, I'll just correct the name. I think I gave the wrong name. Okay, I gave LO underscore document underscore BCS. It should be LO underscore BCS underscore document. I'll check the syntax and activate. So we finished with the sixth step also. Now, if I will go to the mail, what we did as of now, we created the request. Yes, we created the users. We added the recipients or we can say we added the receivers. We are created the document. Now we need to add the attachment. Yes, because we need to add the attachment. If I will go to the mail, what we are doing, we clicked on to compose button. We added the recipient, we gave the subject to the mail, we gave the body to the mail. Now we need to add the attachment. So if I want to add the attachment, I will go for same to same class, 
cl underscore document underscore pcs. So I will use this particular class. So I will go to SC24 transaction for okay. Anyways, class is already open. So now we have so many methods and we will see which method we need to use to add the attachment. You can see we have a method add underscore attachment and it is a instance method. Instance method means, yes, I will call this method through the object. So I will go to pattern button. Now I will go to a path object patterns. Now, do we have a object of the document class? Yes, we have a object of the document class. If I will double click here, this is the object of our CL underscore document underscore BCS class. So I will use this object. Now I will go to pattern button. A back object patterns. So what is the name of the instance? Hello underscore BCS underscore document. I will pass the name of the class. Yes, this is the class. From the F4 help, I will choose the method add underscore attachment. I will press enter. Now I will go for the various things. So I will firstly uncomment that try and catch block. Now we will go for the various things. Now what is our attachment? We are adding which type of attachment? We are adding PDF. So our attachment type is PDF. Now we need to give a subject to the attachment. Yes. We are always, always giving the subject to the attachment. Suppose simple example, when I went for the mail, this is the subject of the attachment, Rahul Mehta underscore. So we need to give a subject to the attachment. Suppose I will give the subject to the attachment as suppose sales order and whatever the sales order number we are passing. Just see, in this program, we are passing the sales order. We are passing the sales order. So whatever the PDF attachment is there, we will simply, simply add the sales document number also to the subject of the attachment. So how I will do? I will simply, simply write concatenate. I will write text hyphen 005. I will create this text symbol. And what is your sales document number variable? But which particular parameter with the help of which particular parameter you are passing the value of sales document number P underscore VBEL. I will write into. I will firstly check the I'll firstly check the type of this parameter because ultimately after concatenation, I need to pass that variable in front of this parameter. So I will check the type of this parameter. I will go for yes. I underscore attachment subject is of this type. So I'll simply copy. You can double click and you can copy the data element also directly. You can see S double O D hyphen O B J D E S. They are referring table name hyphen column name. This is table. This is the column name. So I can declare by using that data element also directly because that is the most, most preferable way. You are declaring yes variable type data element. So I will copy this data element which has a domain of character 50. So I will simply simply declare. Suppose 
I will write here LV underscore subject. Here I will write into LV underscore subject. And I will declare now LV underscore subject. I will write data LV underscore subject type data element. This data element has a domain of character 50. Rather than data element, if you want to go by table name, hyphen, column name also, it's totally your wish how you want to declare. Now, what we did, yes, whatever the, but now I will create this firstly text symbol. Yes, I want to create Suppose 005 is sales order column. I will activate. I'll just increase the length. Suppose I will make 13 sales order column. I will activate. I'll go to back button. So how it will work? Sales order colon, suppose I gave the input, suppose 44. So what will be the title of the attachment? What will be the subject of the attachment? Sales order colon 44. And we are passing it to which particular variable? LV underscore subject. And we are passing here. So we gave the attachment type. We gave the attachment subject. Now we need to attach the PDF file. We need to attach the PDF file. Now for that, I will simply, simply uncomment this parameter. I underscore A double D content underscore HEX. Now I will declare firstly, okay. Firstly, I will double click on to this method. If I will go to yes, you can see I underscore attachment underscore content underscore HCHEX is of this type and description is clearly, clearly written content binary, content binary. Just now recall the first step when we started with this particular process, what we did at that point of time. We got the we got the PDF content in raw string format and we converted it to binary format at that point of time. And I told you at that point of time, as of now, I declared one table type, but once I will go in the future, I will let you know how how I come to know the type of this is solix underscore tab. Now this is the right time to answer that question. Suppose if you see, we are passing this particular, we gave the attachment type PDF. We gave a subject to the attachment. Now we need to add the, we need to add the attachment. Yes, we need to attach the contents now. Your contents are in which particular internal table? LT underscore binary table. So I will simply, simply copy this and I will pass here. Because in this internal table, we have the contents in the binary format pdf contents in the binary format yes now lt binary table is of with this type solix underscore tab now if i will double click and see i underscore attach content x it is of which type solix underscore tab that's with the help of this only we come to know that LT underscore binary content is of this particular type. I declared at that point of time, but I told in the future, we will let you know that how, how I come to know this particular type. So we added the attachment. We passed the type 
we gave the subject and we attach the content also. Yes, PDF contents in binary format. Now I will check the syntax and activate. So what is the summary of this video? In this video, we pass the document classification as raw because we are going for SAP document. After that, we need to add the attachment to the mail. So how we are going for adding the attachment to the mail? We simply use the method add underscore attachment of CL underscore document underscore DCS class. We gave the attachment type PDF. We gave a subject to the attachment and subject we are getting after concatenation of sales order colon and whatever the input we are passing. And then we attach the contents in binary format. You all know your binary contents are into this particular internal table. We converted from raw string to binary, yes, at that point of time. And then I explained also how, how this particular internal table I declared at that point of time of solix underscore tab. So this is the recognizing factor. In the next video, we will go for the next steps of the same. So that's it in this video. Thank you.